Forty years after the first time, much to her chagrin, Jamie Lee Curtis is back in another Halloween movie wearing another piece of emergency room fashion. It's admittedly not the greatest look, no matter if you're a legendary horror heroine or a muscular action movie star. You put Arnold Schwarzenegger in a hospital gown, he looks like a wimp. Curtis says with a laugh. They by nature make you feel vulnerable. It's just hard to be a warrior in a hospital gown. The new horror sequel Halloween Kills, in theaters and streaming on Peacock Friday definitely puts Curtis' iconic final girl Laurie Strode in a medical predicament. The last film, 2018's hit Halloween, found Laurie ready after decades of preparation for another throwdown with masked psycho Michael Myers 40 years after their first meeting, see John Carpenter's original 1978 Halloween. With daughter Karen, Judy Greer, and granddaughter Allison, Andy Matashok, by her side, Lori trapped Michael in her burning house and then she escapes, bleeding out from a nasty stab wound to the abdomen in the back of a truck. Review, Halloween Kills is a step back for Jamie Lee Curtis stab happy horror franchise I think Lori is really willing to die in that moment, Curtis, 62, says of where the last movie ends and kills begins. In a way, I feel like she had come full circle so she now needs to be protected simply because she's wounded. Lori's heroism stirs up a vigilante mob in Haddonfield to go after Michael, who of course didn't actually meet a blazing end and is now on yet another killing spree.